I've got a doozy of a story. It's about this guy. So Sunday morning, I got up, went outside, let the chickens out. It was, we slept in a little bit, so it was probably 8.30 before I let the chickens out. I come back in, just standing at the sink, doing my dishes, still kind of half asleep, groggy, hadn't had coffee yet. So I'm doing my dishes and I just look up out the window and directly out my kitchen window at the neighbor's house, like in their yard is a Muscovy. And if you know what a Muscovy looks like, they're not like any other bird. They've got this big red mask and this crazy mohawk and they're quite large and from a distance, they look really scary, randomly, and nobody around me that I know of has Muscovies. So I was like, first of all, I was like, what the heck is that? Cause I still waking up. I was like, is that a turkey vulture? Because in my mind, I'm thinking how the heck would a Muscovy get here when I don't know anybody around that has them? I wasn't even thinking that. My mind didn't even go there. I was like, is that a turkey vulture that got lost and landed here? Because I couldn't really see it. I don't even know if I was wearing my glasses. Called Jeff out and I was like, come on out here. It's going to be worth it. And at that moment, I was still nervous that whatever this thing was, was going to take off. And that I was going to be the only one who saw it. And I was going to be that crazy person who saw this weird thing and, and nobody believes me. But it didn't move, obviously. And once I mentally processed what it was, I went out and got it some feed. And it, of course, once it heard the feed bucket was like, what's this? I would like some of that, please. So I eventually was very timid, got him to eat some feed and then we kind of herded him into the backyard but he kept still wanting to walk out the driveway and we were terrified that he was going to try to get himself onto the road so we got him into the pasture or we got him into the back pasture because we didn't want to mix him in with our birds right away not knowing if he was healthy so we got him into the back pasture and he stayed there for the remainder of the day very silent if there was any other bird that you had it like off by itself it would be noisy it would be mad this guy was super chill and he was in there all day so i'm i put up an ad on kijiji like if this is your duck we found a duck come get it um but nobody obviously said anything so we had him all night he spent the night out in the pasture because we could not catch him because he doesn't want to be caught oh uh, he's an independent feller and he won't take anything from anyone so he spent the night in the pasture and then the next day like way into the afternoon after the point that i like m mentally i decided like somebody dumped him on us which is a thing people do they see that people have animals and they don't know what to do with their animals and they dump their animals which don't do that um but that's not what happened because yesterday afternoon Somebody showed up and said that it was his duck and it was our neighbor on the opposite side that the duck was on, like on an adjacent street and their yard is kind of adjacent to ours. Um, yeah, and he came and he's like, yeah, my duck took off yesterday and I don't know where it went. And he said that somebody actually just kind of dumped them on him and they were just gonna butcher them. So we were like, yeah, man, we'll go out and we'll get your duck and we tried to catch the duck and the duck like it wasn't it wasn't having it okay and it was still the middle of the day and that's a big pasture out there he's got so much space to run it's not like you're trying to catch him in like a tiny little barn or a little 12 by 12 cage like no he had a whole pasture he wasn't about to get caught he's a big independent fella after trying to catch him and i wasn't much help but I, it's a big duck and I didn't want to catch him. I know they're strong and I know they've got those like hooks on the back of their thingies. And I just, I didn't want to get into that. I wanted to respect the duck's space. So um, he couldn't catch the duck. And he's like, do you guys just want to keep him? Because we didn't really know what to do with him anyway. And I was like, yeah, man, I'll keep, I'll keep the duck. So then he's like, yeah, but um, I guess I'm just going to butcher the female then and I don't know what I'm going to do with the female. And my husband speaks up and says like, oh, we'll take her too if you want to sell her. Um, we'll give you 20 bucks for her. So 
he goes over to catch the duck. He catches the other duck and brings her over and... I keep calling them ducks. That's a very, it's a misnomer. They're not ducks. They're Muscovies. So he catches the other Muscovy and he brings it over. And um, now we've got two Muscovies. Now, apparently, we're farming Muscovies. Like, this is within 48 hours. So, what's new with you? <laughs> and honestly, at the point that he came over and said, like, showed up, I was, I had in my mind thought nobody was coming for this duck and somebody dumped it at a, on us. So I had already been, like, making the duck a shelter and stuff. So I was totally cool with keeping him. We called him Jerry. We haven't named his wife yet. Um, Feather Locklear. But we did find out from them when we went over to um, pay them for the duck that he believes they're not siblings. Because I was like, are they siblings or are they lovers? And he believes they're not siblings because he thinks the guy who had them before was breeding this pair, which also makes me not want to butcher them for meat at all either because if they, these ducks have already been breeding, chances are they're on in life to the point that I'm not about to butcher them because it's not worth it. Um, I normally butcher birds right at the point when they're the ideal for butchering and I feel like if they've already been through breeding for at least the season then I'd rather just try to get another season of breeding out of them and not use these birds for meat but use their babies for meat. Does that make sense? So anyways now we have Muscovies. That's the end of the story. That's that's the whole story. I hope that this story was like good and not boring. I have a habit of telling stories like as if they have like some amazing climax and then I get to the climax and it's like dull and people are like oh yeah that's that's it that's the whole yeah that's it that's it we we met our neighbors and we have ducks now they're not ducks Keisha they're Muscovies <sighs> I need Muscovy puns if anyone can think of some Muscovy puns please comment your Muscovy puns down below because like everyone has a million puns for ducks and geese but Muscovies are not ducks or geese so there's got to be some good Muscovy puns I was actually thinking about making them a little pool down there, make a little sign and call it Muscovy Cove. No? Okay. If you want to see more about our Muscovies that we apparently have now, then subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you're already subscribed, then thanks. I like you. Yeah. Bye.